Good evening. Welcome to our celebrations. We uh, pray the rosary and pray for peace in our world. Let us uh, pray our peace prayer to begin with. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. And where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we're born to eternal life. Amen. Beautiful prayer for our beginning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The five luminous mysteries and the first of the luminous mysteries is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is Christ's manifestation of himself at the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist by Jesus himself, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. And may the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Stephen Clancy and I'm your community leader for tonight's Mass. We welcome everyone to our celebration and thank you for joining us tonight. Our guidelines require that your Mass cover your nose and mouth throughout the entire Mass. There will be no contact during the sign of the peace, but please acknowledge each other's presence at this celebration. Thank you. Please stand and welcome our pastor, Father Jerry Hurley. Let us all join together in worship and sing, Come to the River. Water, but in 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. And as we gather in his presence, we pause once again and call to mind our need for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your heart as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested me and cried and tried me, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, They have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ, if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord.
Today's response, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty days I was wearied, forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, these, people heart, these people's hearts go astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, if you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand. He touched the leper and he said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go and show yourself to the priests and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. I guess the portent of the readings could be summarized in our responsorial psalm, uh, in the response to the psalm this evening. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The author of Hebrews takes Psalm 95, which that is, and uh, sort of tries to do a little exegesis on a very brief kind of uh, breakdown of what it is. You know, harden not your hearts, as you did in the 40 years in the desert. Um, and the author of Hebrews is saying, let us not harden our hearts. Um, because if we harden our hearts, no matter what we hear with our ears or even see with our eyes, we will not interiorize the wonders and the works of the Lord. Because while... It would be possible for one to hear with their ears and see with their eyes if the heart is not open. How does one truly interiorize the word? And uh, that's what the author is saying, coming down to the end, having read the psalm and proposed that to them and said, look at this, this is what happened to our ancestors in Israel. They hardened their hearts. And so they didn't hear his word, and so they spent 40 years in the desert <clears throat> in what was really a, a very short trip. We could spend 40 years in our lives 
And imagine we are hearing and seeing and understanding. Um, how easy it would be for us to do that. And yet in these current times, I think, are probably the best and most prevalent challenge to us. You know, all of the things that have happened during the course of the past year, pandemic, you know, the presidential election, the issues regarding racism, the wildfires, the hurricanes, you know, the different parts of our country, but things happening everywhere at lightning speed and protests and political issues and on and on. Surely they've all got to be challenging us to look at the way we do business, the way we act, to broaden our perspective, to not just hear his word, we all hear his word, literally, if we have the gift of hearing, uh, and we see some of it. But the author of Hebrews is saying, it's got to be here in the heart, because if the heart is not open, then we are really going to have a struggle. And the reason for our hearts to be open is because we've become partners of Christ. And if we hold on to that reality, then he will grow us. He will take care of the process. And we see him doing precisely that then in the gospel. If today you hear his voice, the leper heard his voice. And he said to him, you know, very astutely, if you wish to do so, you can heal me. I do. I do. Why would you have any doubt or worry about that? And so he touches him against the convention of the day. You didn't touch a leper. In fact, you know, as they came into any kind of broad community, the, the law said they had to ring a bell ahead of them and call out, unclean, unclean, as they came into a public forum. And so people could scatter. And I was thinking of it in relation to the pandemic, you know, the terror and the fear that a lot of people have had, you know. Oh, God, I might catch it. Hey, they are all reasonable things, and they are supported by legislation and laws and here in jesus time it was precisely that you know uh, a little type of pandemic you know but man they hated it because i might become like that or like that and uh, we have certainly seen some of that and we continue to see it in our world at the present time and we call out lord hear us Help us, bring us through this challenge and this crisis. And so Jesus touches him going against convention and heals him. Now, what an event for that chap. And then Jesus says, man, weird. Uh, don't tell anyone about it. Well, that's a good way to really get it going. When you tell somebody not to, you know, you kind of drum up the possibilities that it really may float around. I'm going to tell you this, but don't tell anyone, you know. Um, Jesus says, don't tell anyone, because he didn't want to hasten his death. He knew it was coming. He was prepared all of the time. But he didn't want it to come ahead, which certainly would have happened if they kept just identifying him as sort of like somebody who does wondrous works or magical works or miraculous works. He was saying he wanted to be able to go ahead quietly and move to the people who needed him. And so now this individual goes around public saying, hey, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't you go publicizing and celebrating the fact that the Lord has healed me and brought new life to me? And he goes around, publicizes it abroad so that it becomes impossible for Jesus now to come into the towns because we've created a sense, this is who you are, this is what you do, and this is what we need. And Jesus didn't want those conventions in his life. He had a much deeper um, commitment and mission. 
And that was to really touch people at a deeper level than just um, providing healing here, here, and here. He wanted them to come into a relationship. And so, uh, now it is now possible for him to go into the towns openly because we've created a dra drama. Oh, look who's coming to town. Man, he's going to fix us. And then there's a real sense of disappointment when he doesn't fix us and fix the issue. Oh, well, it's fraudulent. It's not true. It's whatever. And Jesus was keenly aware of that. His mission was much deeper than the miraculous uh, events. His mission was to build relationship with people, between people, and um, to ultimately take on our sins, move through the passion, death, and resurrection, and then entrust the care of church to us. So powerful, powerful passage, hard to see all of the wonderful nuances in it. Uh, a leper who just wants healing, you know, how did he know the Christ? How did he know this is the one? What brought him to the Christ? Need? Necessity? Lord, we ask you to hear our prayers. We gather in your name this evening. We ask you to bless us with your abundance. Hear our prayers which we now place before you. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, that we may continue to fulfill Christ's mission, welcoming all those who seek the Lord, baptizing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders around the world, that they may strive to bring forth justice to their nations and peace across their borders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who prepare adult catechumens or new parents for baptism, that they may be strengthened in their ministry as they pass their faith and wisdom to their sisters and brothers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may be conscious of our call as baptized Christians to carry out Christ's mission and serve others as he did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that through the intercession of the Holy Spirit, there may be an end to violence so that peace may reign in our troubled nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our faithful departed brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of rising again, especially Jane Kaiser, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all of these are prayers that we've spoken publicly and all of those prayers that remain silently in our hearts are prayers on behalf of all of our brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering in any way. We ask you to hear them all and grant them in Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our almighty Father. In our hands, in the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's offering, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross he brought peace to all creation. And therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him, he has become the source of eternal life. And so we join the angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress. As we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you, and let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge it to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. On us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us now join together to sing our communion hymn, Christ Be Our Light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light shine in your church gather together longing for food many are hungry longing for water many still thirst make us your bread broken for others shared until all are fed. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather to Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass is ended and we go now in peace to love and to serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for being here. Glad you could be with us and uh, we continue praying along with each other and for each other. If you ordered giving envelopes for 2021, they have arrived and are available for pickup in the hallway outside the office area. Please note that the poinsettias in the hallway are available for you to take home. Please wait to be dismissed from your pew. As you exit the building, we ask you to maintain social distancing. Thank you. Let us now say our commitment prayer.
Let us all praise him together with our closing song, River of Glory. River of glory, streams of our birth, flood of God's riches, Lord, on the earth we are born from the darkness, and clothed in the light we are bathed in the glory of God. Fountain of mercy, grace flowing free, streams of salvation, spilling with love from a tree. River of glory, streams of our birth, flood of God's riches, poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness, and clothed in the light, we are bathed in the glory of God. Here there is heaven, healing and hell. Joy for the asking, love in abundance and wealth. River of glory, springs of our birth. Flood of God's riches, poured on the earth. We are born from the darkness, and clothed in the light. We are bathed in the glory of God.